our WBC hive just behind me here has decided that today it's going to swarm and I'm sure hopefully you can hear the noise in the background um, we attempted a shook swarm on them last week and unfortunately uh, they decided they wanted to go then uh, so we popped the old comb back in to try and keep them fortunately the queen is clipped so in theory they should be returning back to base um, but we can keep an eye on this lot and see what happens but most definitely trying to swarm there's a huge cloud of bees just behind me it's quite a spectacular sight um, however it is a bit frustrating <laughs> uh, Roger's going to be here in about an hour so uh, where we are in an hour from now we'll have to see and I think most of them are actually returning back to the hive not sure whether you guys are actually able to see this but the bees are moving in I'm not sure if the queen is on the floor here so I'm keeping an eye on that because she is clipped. In fact, there she is. I found the queen. Basically, there, there are three elements to a bee colony. There's the queen, there's the brood, and there's the foragers or flying bees or adult bees, whichever way you like to put it. And the idea is that if you separate two of those elements from the other one, you should prevent swarming. Um, obviously, it doesn't always work. Uh, but that is the theory. So we are going to separate the queen and the flying bees from the brood today so the brood is going to go into those neat boxes and we're going to put in a whole set of frames of foundation with one drawn super frame so that when the queen and we're going to cage the queen in a a postal cage which I have in my pocket here um, New, new beekeepers will not be familiar with this but it has a sliding top and so what you do is you remove that you put a finger full of fondant in that section there and then you put the cover back on just up to about there somewhere and then you find the queen pick her up by the wings put her in there don't pick her up by the body because they're surprisingly delicate put her in there, click it shut, and then the bees, the worker bees, have access to the queen through these holes, so they can still feed her and still transfer pheromones and all that stuff, but she can't get out and they can't get in until they've eaten the fondant that we've put in there through this slot here. And then when that's happened, then the queen can toddle through that hole there, through there and out of that in that uh, exit hole and uh, start laying eggs. So the idea is that we'd put her in that, we'll hang that actually, we're going to put a drawn super frame in there. So we'll hang this vertically between the that drawn frame and, and another and a frame of foundation. And that way then they'll have, um, the queen will come out immediately onto a drawn, a drawn frame and hopefully she'll start laying eggs more or less immediately. Um, and they should stay. And they will hopefully stay. No. Okay, right. yeah. Got it. Up we go. A new clean floor and porch lift. Porch thingy. So right. we're putting the super on there so the queen excluder fits without any issues of the queen being able to wriggle around the outside or. Yeah. Right, so we then put the queen excluder onto that, like that, and we're already have bees returning. flying in already. 14 by 12 box, brood chamber, which then goes on next. Come on girls, move yourselves, you're in the way darlings. But now we go through these, and as I go through I'm going to going to shake the bees into that 
Well, I'm going to look first to see the queens on that. So we got lots of queen cells, look. As we sort of predicted. As a swarm, they, they try and recruit followers from other boxes anyway. So, you know, you don't just get the bees from your hive. You get a lot of bees caught up from other hives if there are any oh. close by. You can see the queen cells now quite... Yep. Quite clearly. Lots. There are lots on your side as well. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four. There's a couple more in there that are, I mean that's that's probably a queen cell under there, but it's not very well. Not a good one. Never gonna go anywhere. Well it certainly isn't now anyway. <laughs> but uh so yeah, fine. I mean, some of these are I mean there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's five on that one frame. But, oh no, there aren't there. <laughs> It's two, four, six, eight on that side, so that's 13 on that one frame. Wow. That's quite a lot. And again, it's the first frame out of the box, right near the, the outside of the nest, so, you know, it's um, where I would expect to find most of the queen cells. Right, so that's shaken off, and I'll put that in there. Just enough to block up the... Just enough to block. <laughs> Just enough to stick it in there and block out the entrance. I mean, we're not we're not planning. We're not introducing a new queen. It's just it's just a way of keeping her there for a little while, while we do all the rest of this stuff, and uh, making sure that she's still there tomorrow. By which time they might very well have a few eggs and things to look after, which will hopefully encourage them not to abscond again. Why is that? It closes with a bit of a click. So I'll just put that down for a minute while I do that. It just snaps and there it is. Right, I'm going to put that in there so that whatever happens from now on we know she's in there somewhere. Do we have to make sure there are enough bees to um, look after those queen cells? Or well, they're fed. They yeah. don't need they they don't need anything, and the weather's supposed to be nice the next couple of days at least. So there'll be more bees emerging all the time. Um, you know, these are these are frames with mostly sealed brood on. Yeah. Um, there's not going to be any shortage of young bees, certainly. Um, which is all you need, a few off to look after the queen. Yeah. So we're hoping this will quell their desire to leave us. To leave us. And they'll think, so the idea is that they behave and think they've swarmed, don't they? Yeah. Even though they're still in the same box. The scheme is that because they're all they have are flying bees and and a mated laying queen. As far as they're concerned, they must have swarmed. Mm. The fact that they appear to be in the same place is pure coincidence. <laughs> we hope. But yeah. So new foundation in. So I'm just going to start putting a few of these in, which will give them something to stand on, because they're all dropping through the queen excluder into the space below at the moment. And if we wanted to, we could split these up into more than two mm. nukes. There's no shortage of bees, the weather's quite good, the, they're nice warm boxes. So, that's five, so that's half the colony in there. There they are. If wow. we don't do this, then there's a good chance that they'll just, because there's so many queen cells, that they'll just swarm so the, the the prime swarm goes off and then each subsequent queen cell that emerges they'll go off as a cast which is you know probably although it's early in the season probably no use to anybody mm. can um, they swarm themselves to destruction in the they end? can actually swarm themselves to a point where there's really no 
no worker bees left, certainly there might be a few drones left at the end because they tend to emerge after the mm. after all the last lot of workers. So you know, that, but um, yeah, even even if there was I don't know several hundred bees left at the end, it's not enough to be a a successful colony. It's it, you know even if you fed it and and pampered it and kept it warm and did all the all the things that you can do. Mm. Um, it would be very unlikely to be able to protect itself and survive. I think our best bet is to go through and choose one cell and just leave that one yeah. in each of the nukes. Um, because otherwise they are they'll, they'll just swarm away and, and there'll be quite possibly practically nothing left so they're trying to feed her and yeah and then put it uh, that way around I think we are looking for one that's kind of well advanced but still open really I think yeah because that means that they don't have to do much feeding so because there are not a huge number of bees in here that one's wet and glistening that one looks a bit dry to me yeah yeah it's dry isn't it nothing in it so we'll take that one away and we'll take the sealed one away because that one's a sealed one perfectly good lava in there just in the pr process of changing into a queen I think anyway there you go hard luck Gil you didn't make the cut right so we've got one there that we're keeping and we've got one on this side that is sealed sealed looks not very clever Perfectly, perfectly good thingy, but never mind, it's gone now. Right, so basically we got the one we want. So now we've got to destroy the others. So now we need to just take all the others off. So that's a great big sealed one. Mm, Rob. She was going to be a big one, wasn't she? She was. Well, have a look at that. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen in half a half a colony. Oh, yeah. Plus the one we Plus left. Plus the one we left, yeah. Right. Uh, so that's done for now. We might come back to it in a minute with a different frame of stores. Stores, because this one's got more stores and less be brood. That one was probably a, an intentional queen cell right at the beginning because you can see of the, the silk there, Roger. As well, the way it's uh, yeah, Is that the silk. Yeah, huh. they've um, gnawed away the, the yeah. cells from below to, the to, wire, yeah. to make room for it. Oh yeah, very good. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve-ish. 13 or 14 in that lot as well so yeah maybe 30 about 30 queen cells in amongst that lot so this is the following day roger and i um put the queen in this cage between these two frames yesterday and uh, even though we've given them new comb new foundation which they're starting to draw I'll show you in a second uh, they just decided to try and swarm again so if I, this was uh, the frame that we popped in uh, yesterday. So the queen has, has left the cage. And my job is now to try and find the queen. And the plan is to, in our failing or queenless nuke, I'm gonna pop her in a cage 
um, take the queen from here and I'm going to return uh, one of the nukes, probably the furthest, farthest nuke there, into this colony. Um, the plan is to allow them to rear one of the queen cells we intended them to raise, but in this box with these foragers. Um, we'll give them a new queen and hopefully that will quell their urge to swarm. But um, it is quite a quite a, a determined colony. I'll just show you this frame here. You can see they're warming this up and they're already starting to play around with this one. And there's the queen. Hopefully you can see her. I lost sight of her now, even myself. There she is on that outer frame there. So I'm going to grab her and I'm going to stick her into a queen cage. So queen is in here somewhere. So queen's in her cage and I've split these boxes allowing this space here. Notice we did have a queen excluder in as well but she probably got through being thinned down so even though we've got a queen excluder underneath and <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit five or six frames in here, remove any nest outer frames that the new foundation and uh, hope that they rear up the new brood and create a uh, rear up new queen so it's all we can try and fingers crossed they don't swarm tomorrow or or the following day but they won't be able to leave because they haven't got a queen right so this is one of the nuke boxes that Roger moved aside yesterday with a queen cell in it so we've got one two three five frames here um, any bees that were orientated to the new location will find another suitable location to move to uh, this is the one with the queen cell on um, and uh, deliberately going to make sure we've got enough space between these bars so as not to crush it um, and all of these frames despite our best efforts to try and give them fresh comb we're going to return this comb back to them and pop it into this centerpiece here so this is our queen cell we've got here that we've left behind not seeing any uh, eggs so I don't think they'll be rearing any new queen cells over the next few days but I will be checking these again in a couple of days just to see what's happening with them so let's pop this one inside so all the frames queen cell is in there we've got two dummy boards at the moment because we've added four new frames here um, there isn't a laying queen in here to make space for at the moment so their job will be drawing comb um, and uh, cleaning up making sure that queen cell uh, cleaning up the cells in here ready for a new queen and hopefully rearing up this new uh, queen cell you can see them all fanning now quite excitedly over the uh, the fact that they've been given some of those frames and there'll be pheromone on those frames and they'll be all over that queen cell hopefully and uh, rearing it up so this is our queenless colony Roger put a frame of brood in and yesterday we noticed we'd left uh, what queen cells there were in here and I think they'd drawn a new one from the eggs that we put in from the frame of brood so I'm gonna find that one destroy it and any others and uh, pop the queen in and hopefully they'll feed her and accept her and in a couple of days I'll let her out. So I've destroyed the queen cells and I'll put the queen here on top of this hive and the bees I'm hoping will rather than coming up and killing her they will sense her pheromone and hopefully beg she'll be asking for food and uh, the bees themselves will actually come up and uh, feed her so I always put the, the cage on top just to see what the reaction with the bees is if they've got their bottoms inside then it's not going to work and if they've got their proboscis out 
and they're trying to feed her um, like that's happening so hopefully she will they will actually feed her um, so I'm going to give it a few moments the fondant that's on the top which is down here I'm going to put in some very hot water um, and I'm going to mix it into a sort of a syrup and put it into the a feeder on top of this one so they can take a liquid feed down uh, and uh, everyone can be fed sufficiently. Mm -hmm. 